So you come to Tokyo and you have decided that you want to buy a new or used camera or lens, but you don't know where to get started. So in today's video, I am going to give you my favorite places to purchase cameras in Tokyo and make sure that you watch until the end of the video because I will also share with you additional tips to save even more money. Before we move to my recommendations, let's talk about some traps that people often fall into. Oftentimes you hear from people that are YouTubers or just visiting the country that you should head straight to some electric towers like Yodobashi Camera or Big Camera to purchase your gear. Now, while those are great places to try out gears because they have so much choice when it comes to cameras, to lenses, but also tripods, lights, etc., I would not advise you to purchase your items there. One common practice that those places do is that they will basically increase the price of any item by 10% and offer you 10% point so that you can basically come back at their place and spend more money. So if you do not plan on using the 10% of points that they charge extra, I would not recommend to go to those towers. Instead, here are the two places that I would recommend. Number one, map camera in Shinjuku. If you're visiting Shinjuku, and I think that there is a high chance that you will because this is one of the iconic places to, to visit in Tokyo, then head to the west side of the station and you will find map camera there. Map camera has about five to six floors of gears with each floor focusing on specific brands. They have tons of choice when it comes to camera body and lenses. They also offer some filters. They do have staff speaking English, which can help greatly when it comes to discussing price or asking questions. And if you're looking for a place to buy used piece of gears, Map Camera has great quality control when it comes to reselling used gear and also good prices. This is definitely one of my favorite places when it comes to buying used and new gear. And they also have a good website and application when you can search for prices and stock to be sure of what they have at what price they offer it and so that you don't have to go there for nothing. And the fact that they often offer campaigns when it comes to uh, additional discount on their bodies and lenses is a great plus. A few stations away from Shinjuku on the Chuo line in Nakano, you will find Fujiya Camera. This place offers a really, really wide selection of gear, whether you are looking for a new camera, a used one, or even some vintage lenses. However, English is quite limited there, but usually even by speaking English, you can make yourself understood and you can manage communication. Now, this place also has a website I usually compare the prices between Map Camera and Fujiya, and 99% of the time, this is where I will purchase all my gear. They usually have the same price when it comes to new gear, but for used gear, depending on the offering that they have, you can have some variance. All right, so now that I gave you my recommendation, here are some bonus tips if you want to save even more money when purchasing gears in Japan. Number one is tax reduction. Don't hesitate to ask, whether or not they offer tax reduction to travelers. If you're traveling in Japan, you can purchase your gear without taxes. There are two options for that. Either they do it directly at the shop, you will purchase the piece of gear without any tax. The second option is for you to keep your tickets. And when going back to the airport, all you have to do is to find the dedicated machines and use them so that you can get back the money from the taxes. Tip number two is that you should not hesitate to buy used gear here. Pretty much all the shops, and especially the two shops that I mentioned earlier, have a really high quality control when it comes to reselling used gear. I have purchased pretty much all my gear used, and I've never had any problem with problem on the sensor or scratches within the lens. If there is any problem anyway, they are pretty upfront about it. They will let you know that this particular lens has an issue and it is known, and this is why it's so cheap. And even when you purchase used gear, they will give you a warranty that you can use for at least a year in the shop. So don't hesitate to buy used gear. This can save you a ton of money and you should not be afraid about the quality of gear that you will get. And tip number three is that if you are looking to purchase and sell gear, I would suggest you to bring the gear that you want to sell and sell it at the same shop. The reason is that Sometimes when you sell some pieces of gears, they will give you an extra discount on the camera or the lens that you are looking to purchase. As an example, I sold my X-T4 at Map Camera and I also purchased the X-H2S at the same time. Because I did both, sold my X-T4 and purchased the X-H2S, they gave me an extra discount of $500 on the X-H2S 
and also plus 20% on the price at which they would buy my X-T4. So at the end, I ended up saving pretty much $800 or $900 while purchasing the X-H2S. So if you are thinking of buying a new piece of gear, make sure to bring the piece of gear that you don't use anymore with you. And that way you could end up saving some extra bucks. All right, so let me know down in the comment if you have any questions. Thank you for watching today's video. And if you've missed it, check out this video right here where I take you to the streets of Tokyo for a street photography session. See you there.